Hi Taurus, welcome to your December love reading for 2018. <laughs> uh, everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. Oh, the lovers, okay. So you're Maybe you're thinking about your marriage or your connected, committed relationship. Maybe it's your soulmate. All right. The Empress. The High Priestess. Wow. Two of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Six of Pentacles. King of Cups. Ace of Swords. Strength. Hmm. Emperor. Um, one, two, three, four, five heavies out of ten. Okay, Taurus. <laughs> wow. Okay, so this could be you right here. It could be you. Um, it could be that you are feeling very fulfilled and happy with your situation right now. Um, this could be you on your own being flying solo. This could be that you're thinking about a lover that you have separated from. And the reason why I say that is because we've got two swords here and it talks, I mean, this would be that somebody is just either a very good partner waiting to find that partner that they can create and live abundantly with, you know, just a lot of love, a lot of happiness, but you're just feeling really heartbroken about something or someone. So it could be that, well, most likely it's you're thinking about this person that you're connected to and that you're not, and yet you're not with. Because there's been, there's heartache and hurt feelings here. Um, let's clarify this Ace of Swords here because this could be victory, communication, clearing the air. It could be that you right now are estranged because there's no communication. There's been a cutting off. So let's see what this Ace of Swords is, please. Two cards. Ace of Swords. Oh, okay, so, um, hmm. this, all right, so we got victory here, we got victory here. This could be Cancer, Aquarius, Gemini, Taurus, or Aries, Aries over here, Leo right here. Okay, so those are the players. So, if that resonates, um, it, For some of you, it could be that you realize that there's just, for this relationship, you might be feeling like there's no hope. Okay, this is clarity of thought also. But we've got two victory cards here. So this could be that you're you're thinking, okay, you know what, I've just got to move on. I've got to stop thinking about this. This is wishful thinking at this point. I've got to just move forward. I've just, I, this is forward movement. This is victory. This is clarity of thought. So it could be that you're, you're heartbroken over this, but you're just kind of realizing or had this epiphany that it's just not going to work or that now is not the right time and that you've got to move on. You've got to do what's best for you. You've got to, I hate to say it this way, but get it together in the sense that you got to marshal the two forces, um, the side of you that is saying, but I still love this person. I'm heartbroken. And the side that's saying, you know what, we have to accept this and move on. That needs to meet in the middle somewhere and you need to start putting one foot in front of the other. Um, high Priestess. So wait, is this six? One, two, three, four, sorry, four, five. Okay, I could have sworn that there was, I guess there's only five then. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's only five. Shutting up. Okay, so there's confusion. Not really confusion, just, and I know because I see the moon here, but it's not, and that, it could be indicative of the moon, but this could be Pisces, this could be Cancer, um, and again with Cancer, this speaks to things, to transition, to everything having a season, to, you know, everything gets their time in the sun, well, everything gets their process or their emotional cycle, so to speak, and 
I think intuitively you know that this is the right thing to do. You probably feel very connected to this person though because you know this is soulmate. This talks about having that mental intuitive bond with that person. Um, this basically intuitively you know that this is the right thing to do and you just have to stay strong honestly the separation which i'm thinking i'm i feel like this is a separation i feel like you're missing somebody but you know it's the right thing to do to not be with this person right now um and this is a large part of december for you honestly and uh and then we've got you still thinking about things this is you thinking about the relationship, what to do next, trying to keep yourself out of your emotions and just, you know, restore balance as far as this heartbreak over here and getting some distance to where you can look at it compassionately and objectively and uh, balanced fairly emotionally. <laughs> uh, and the advice is to take control back, to get back in control. Not that you're out of control per se, but it, you might feel like you're just, because there's sadness here. You know what to do. It's just hard to do it. And you know what the right thing to do is. You just, you know, it's hard when you love somebody, right? Um, just saying you start off the month right here and you end it right here. Not, not like, oh, everything's going to resolve in a month, but control abundance and this is these two are suited this is control this is creation okay so it's the the marriage of the two right here you see that okay this is forward movement this is you reconciling you've got this creative and you're just like god i just wish it could work out with this person but i know it's probably the right thing to do i'm gonna have to go inward and listen to myself listen to my intuition um maybe you know still maybe being undecided because you're not quite there yet but when all else fails, your heart's broken and you're like, okay, I know what to do here, but I also need to connect to my intuition. I need to do what makes sense for my head intuitively, my heart, you know, my heart, my head, and intuition. So December is all about you figuring out what you want to do or at least getting comfortable with knowing what you should do because you, you know, this is you having a knowing or um, going inward and listening and feeling like this is in fact the right thing to do. It's just might be hard for you right now to stay strong. <laughs> um, figuring things out, parceling things out, trying to stay not emotional, just figuring out what's what culpability in a relationship possibly, or figuring out for your future, like, okay, where to go from here. And, and yeah. And then we've got this could be a water sign that, you know, you, you talk to and they help you sort things out. Um, could be that you come to this place of just being compassionately objective about things or objectively compassionate and you regain control. So there's an epiphany, staying strong, standing your ground and getting that control back. So it's like, yeah, December's awesome, but there's some heartache you're trying to work out here. And... In the past, you might have been like, okay, I'm not quite sure what to do, but you come to a place where you know what to do. It's just that your heart's broken. And again, the advice or in the future, it's like, it's all about you. Okay. Having that clarity of thought, getting control back. Two more for Taurus. Two more for Taurus. Anything unexpected for Taurus? Anything unexpected? I wanted it to be this one. Oof. Okay. Hold on a minute. Anything more for Taurus? That's a five of swords, by the way. Taurus. I just, I don't like, this is one of the two cards in the deck that speaks of victimization. Um, so it could be that there's, there's either fighting or establishing control is about you cutting things off and maybe the other person isn't happy about it. Um, this is about imbalance, all of a sudden having all this choice, 
distraction. Now what do I do? I've got so many things I've got to handle. Just So this could be your new normal for a while, <laughs> Taurus. Just saying there, there could be fighting and it really you know, amps this up to, oh my gosh, I can't think straight now. I've got so, and it's an emotional issue. Okay. It could be that if you cut things off, chaos will ensue just because it's going to upend things. And it could be speaking about this, finding that new normal, getting reestablished and settled again, figuring out what to do, juggling a few things until you get stasis, until you get stability. All right. It's almost like, I hate to say more of the same, but it could just be that, and this is as far as anything unexpected, it could just be that there's more, it could be that it comes to this, that you have to just cut things off. Because here is having this epiphany, but you're able to remain objectively compassionate because it hasn't gotten weird yet. Maybe it's going to get weird and you do have to cut things off, but now what? And you've just got all this kind of things are in flux and there's a need to establish order and stability. for Taurus. Advice for Taurus. Advice for Taurus. <sighs> Confusion. Seeing things for what they are or just starting to become aware of what is real and what was misleading. Um, again, with the clarity of thought here and using your intuition to figure out what's what. Oh. <laughs> you know, I hate to, and I'm not making anything, you know, nothing for nothing here, but it's like, it's like, wait a minute, don't come any further. I'm thinking, give me my space, you know? This could be man or woman. It's not like this is, I'm not just reading for women here. It's just. Mm. Okay. Environmentalism. Some of that, or that might ring true for some of you. It could be. Honestly, when I see this card, it always makes me think that someone needs to get involved in something or someone else um, just to take themselves outside of their own head, especially if this is coming, if this is the unexpected that's coming, that, it's, you know, you're going to fight to the point of distraction. There's going to be words exchanged or there's things are going to get a little bit testy because you might have to be like, no, give me my space. Don't talk to me. And I'm trying to sort things out here. I'm trying to see what's real and how I feel. You know, I got a lot of going on right here emotionally. And the best way to help yourself sort that out is to get involved in something. But it doesn't necessarily have to be the earth. It's just something that can take you outside of yourself. So I am going to pull another card. Taurus. Ooh, sorceress. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. That's what this empress and emperor are speaking about is creation and control. Harnessing both <laughs> to manifest, basically. Just saying. All right, I got a couple more oracle cards. Let's just play with all the oracle cards. One more. Two more. Advice for Taurus. So we got you figuring things out and getting regaining control in your life, basically, after the heartache. And you know intuitively what the right thing to do is. You're just kind of just heartbroken and still just trying to figure everything out. Letting go, attachment, uh, restriction, fear, letting go. I'd say that's appropriate. <laughs> it's always a process, isn't it? Let's see what these have to say. These are kind of whimsical. Yeah, we'll see. This will be the take it or leave it. Let's see. Taurus. Look forward. 
one foot in front of the other. Keep moving. Get that control back in your life. Find something to take you out of yourself and this worry. And you're you're pretty good at that service work too, Taurus. I mean, you're always you're you're very service oriented anyway. So something that could help you emotionally process this, right? All right. So that is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this. I hope you get some, you will, because look, I mean, you're a Taurus, who are we kidding, okay? But um, you've got both the Emperor and the Empress here, and so it's just, it's just a matter of you sifting through everything and sorting out, but in the meantime, occupy yourself, keep yourself busy so you can see things clearly. Um, this speaks to you using your twit intuition again, just to help you figure stuff out. Start the process of letting go and moving on if that's what you want to do. Just saying. You might want to stay in limbo a little while because this is a lot to process. Okay. All right. So that's December for you, Taurus. I hope this was helpful. Um, it looks to be a month of just kind of processing some emotional grief and starting the process of letting go. And I hope, I wish you luck with this. It can be difficult. Hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.